I don't want to sit here in this house and die. This 690-pound Shaker Heights woman needs help, and today she got it. But her situation sheds light on a growing problem in Northeast Ohio and across the country, the deep concern of how to care for seriously overweight people who desperately need help. Health reporter Alicia Booth is here now with this exclusive story. Well, imagine what it's like to need medical care so desperately and have no way even to get to the doctor. That's what's happening to one woman and many patients like her who feel hopeless and misunderstood. At nearly 700 pounds, the way Terry Smith's day ends is exactly how it begins. In this bed, in pain, fighting the stereotype that she's there because she wants to be. If I could get up and walk and go do things, I would. I would. I don't want to like spin like this. But she wasn't always like this. Over time, she battled her weight, but didn't start putting on the pounds until several years ago when arthritis confined her to a wheelchair and her weight skyrocketed. Her daughter and husband helped to take care of her, but can't cure the excruciating headaches, which may be caused by something called pseudotumor cerebri. The only way she knows to get to the doctor is to call 911 and have the fire department put her in a net and ease her down the stairs. But that's only for a life-threatening emergency. I need to get to the doctor. I don't want to die in this house. So Terry called us, and we found her Dr. Daryush Sagafi, a neurologist who makes house calls. Hi there, Ms. Smith. How are you? Dr. Sagafi says, unfortunately, Terry's problem is not unique. He sees many patients whose medical conditions or sheer size prevent them from getting to the doctor. Many of those patients don't know where to turn. I think it's amazing how you guys found a doctor to come here to see me. And Dr. Sagafi hopes health care for Terry will be accessible. It hasn't been up to this point, but perhaps with this uh, particular visit, we can open a few more doors if there is anything that we can do for Ms. Smith, then we're going to do it. And after getting a good look at her today, Dr. Sagafi adjusted some of Terry's medication she wasn't taking correctly and is having her daughter keep a record of her headaches. He's looking into getting her a full workup of tests at a special diagnostic center, which will transport a patient her size. And we'll continue to follow her story. And others like it. This is a real problem. And I really want to say thank you to Dr. Sagafi for stepping in today. He's, he's a real hero today. What a situation. And you wonder how many other patients like Terry are out there needing help. It's a growing problem. Yeah. Thanks, Alicia. Okay.